DJ GQ, King of Clubs, Mr. Let Him Know, Mr. Y100 Miami, and I'm here at Winwood Yard, and we are at the Florida Chapter Music Advocacy Rally. We're raising awareness for music advocacy in our community. So check it out. We're going to be doing interviews all night long. As a music producer, a lot of people don't understand all that goes behind making a song. It's not just a band of five people in a room anymore. A lot of times it's one person like me creating the music with a singer or a rapper on top of it. So it's, it's the Modernization Act. It's how music mostly is made these days. And it's extremely important that we get the rights and the credits and the monetary compensation for what goes into a song that is all equal for everyone. Well, believe it or not, when I was growing up, I was always in music ed since I was a little child, but I never wanted to do it professionally. I never, yeah, I never thought I could. I wanted to go to med school. And I didn't notice until after, you know, recently I did an event for JetBlue where they gifted all these instruments to people. And I was like, holy crap, I always had the ability to pick up an instrument and play and explore my artistry. So many kids don't have the opportunity to do that. They don't have instruments, they don't have music programs. And for next year, we really need to make sure that education gets funding, music education, because music teachers are going away, programs are just closing down completely. And I think it's essential to keeping kids out of bad stuff and growing in their creative environment, which is what we need. And I, I think it's really important, man, honestly. Congress should support it arts because without funding, without supporting the people who beautify our visual, our taste buds, mm -hmm. our sonics, no one will want to live in that place. No one will want to be in a city or in a state where they cannot enjoy the senses. And that's what the people from the arts do. So they need to be taken care of. Advocacy for music creators matters because we are a vulnerable, vulnerable group of people. And a lot of times we're not thinking about the things for our well-being, we're more so thinking about the art. So when people come across and they really are looking out for us, it's really a, a really um, amazing thing for us that don't think about these things. We think about music more than anything. So having groups like this and what we're doing tonight is major because it not only brings the, it to attention of the consumer and the people that love music, but the people that make music. So it's a wonderful thing. Why should Congress support the arts? I feel like the arts are very, very necessary for any any student or any young person to grow up and be able to have a voice and, and figure out if they want to be a part of the arts, which goes hand in hand with having a voice in your community. And really just like keeping people off doing things they shouldn't be doing. The, the arts are a great gateway for that. So that's why everyone should be involved. The youth is our future, so they, they need it more than anyone else. Today is a great day. It's District Advocacy Day here at Winwood Yard. And to all the members of the Recording Academy who advocate for a healthy music community, thank you. What's up, y'all? This is B.O.B. This is G-Eazy. I'm Mo. This is Julia Michaels. This is Logic. Make sure you subscribe to the Recording Academy channel. Flex.